Hey everybody, this is Mike Hagan. We're at WPPI. I'm in front of the Think Tank booth. I love Think Tank. Just so you know, I've been using Think Tank forever. Uh, I was workshop uh, affiliate code number 15 with these guys. I love their products. I use their airport international, their airport security, and I also use their modular system. So I thought we'd have Ted here show us some of the new Think Tank bags, uh, kind of show off their products, and also tell you where you can find them on your own. Thanks. Hi, it's Ted from Think Tank Photo. Well, we're here at WPPI and we've got a couple great new bags we're introducing. I'd like to show you something you may be familiar with, but this is a new rendition of the retrospective series called the Retrospective V2. It's got a couple new uh, accoutrements on the outside to give it kind of a fresh new look. We sort of lighten up the material to keep it soft and, and pliable. And on the inside, you'll see we've added a really cool new fabric on the interior, just kind of a cool plaid to sort of modernize the look. And just kind of running through the, the new uh, features of this bag, you'll see we've updated our sound silencer system to be able to tuck away these flaps and get them out of the way. And they're easily retrieved. And you can do the full sound silencer, or you can do a partial sound silencer like that. So they're adjustable. And these are really important for when you're shooting like a wedding scene and you're going for the big kiss and you go whoosh. You know, nobody wants to hear that. So these sound silencers really pay off in a situation like that. Now you also see this flap. This is a special security flap that zips closed. So that kind of can help keep uh, your gear secure from prying hands when you're traveling around in the city or if it falls off your car seat or something and all your gear wouldn't dump out. So that's a really nice feature. And since you don't want to have to unzip every time you use your camera, it has a nice Velcro to where it attaches to the lid and can be easily moved like that. Or you can tuck it away into this pouch up in the top here. So you can see, gets that out of the way so you can still get to all your gear. Now on the inside, you can fit a laptop in this padded laptop, dedicated pad. Uh, the 15 inch laptop will go into the retrospective 30. This is the retrospective 7 and of course there's also the retrospective 10 and 20 and the 5 so we've got a size that will fit everything that you've got. Uh, everything is built for pro grip lenses, uh, pro grip bodies and lenses with hoods. As you can see we get extra dividers like we always supply plenty of those. And there's just more personal carry space that you can cover that up with so you can get more personal stuff in here and in here zip carry here or a little zip pocket put your phone in so it doesn't fall out that's kind of nice and of course everything tank bag comes with a rain cover for those downpour situations but you can be pretty sure that this is going to handle a light rain because it's coated with a DWR coating so even though it's canvas if the water is going to shed off there and protect your gear so that's the retrospective 7 it's got these really cool little grommets which actually have no purpose they're just to look cool so that's good. Now I've got the Vision sh Series shoulder bag. This comes in three different sizes. This is the Vision 15, there's a Vision 13, and a Vision 10. And so the number indicates the size of a laptop that will go inside. So as I mentioned, this will fit a 15 inch laptop, and the 13 will do the 13 inch laptop, the 10 is a 10 inch tablet. And much like the retrospective, it's built for pro, pro gear nice and wide for those lens hoods and it's got uh, the security flap that I also demonstrated that works the same way you can tuck it away into this sleeve right here so that's a really nice workflow feature it does not have the sound silencers um, but it does have plenty of personal carry space and organizing space lanyard for your keys or your memory card wallet so you don't lose your memory card stuff another uh, little slip pass there and on the back it's got a pass through for your roller handle so you can travel with it just put it right on top of your roller and another nice little pocket right here just for a little odds and ends so this is a really uh, good bag at a good price point so it's really affordable for a beginning uh, beginning photographer or even a professional just wants to uh, look at get a new fresh new look for their bag and you can see this fabric is really cool comes in two different colors. This is the graphite color and then there's a, a dark olive color that's just a little bit more green than this. 
Got one more to show you. This is the Stand Manager 52. Now this, it's a big bag. And this is for all your C stands. You can fit four C stands in here with the legs off, but everything fits in here. You can tie it all down with these tie straps. And you can put your modifiers maybe in this pocket right here. And then the nice part about it is you can get all that stuff in there. It's a rigid, solid body on the back, so it's going to hold all that weight. And then you can cinch it down tight so you get a nice, you get all your gear nice and tightly cinched down and protected. And it rolls really nice on these really big, cool wheels. And so this obviously will hold a lot of weight, but it really makes it easy to load it in and out of your van or your car or whatever and manage those C-stands and not smash your fingers or you know smash a hole in the wall or dent your car or something like that. So all of these bags and more are available on thinktankphoto.com. Uh, you can buy it right on our site. We're here at WPPI. You can drop by the booth and pick one up today.